Okay, so before we answer the research question, which is right there, we first need to answer the question, what are catapults? Catapults are essentially siege weapons greatly relying on its design and various forces to launch projectiles over considerable distances, striking at either weak foot soldiers in buildings or numerous sturdy and overwhelming structures. Though it is outclassed by the militaries of today, these machines were undoubtedly praised and recognized as fearsome pieces of artillery on the battlefield. In total, there are three types of catapults, tension, torsion, and trebuchet catapults. It's not those like Manganel, Blister, no, no, this is my list! Let's start off with the tension catapults, since they're heralded as being one of the first siege weapons to be ever created. Loaded with bolts, they would completely revolutionize ancient warfare, introducing a new way to devastatingly wage war upon opposing nations. Most notably, the Oxybells, basically a giant crossbow on a wooden tripod, would be created in 375 BCE, the largest of which boasted an impressive range. As its type suggests, the way it works was quite simple, as it would utilize the Bow's tension to fire the missile. Being one of the first of its kind, these types of catapults were of course burdensome to load and fire, but they would lay the groundwork for future complicated catapult developments, like the torsion catapults. As the Greeks would continue to modify their catapult creations, torsion catapults would surface, making improvements to their overall power and range. Evidently, the ballista, basically a slanted giant crossbow and a wooden tripod, would lay its claim amongst Roman armies, setting the standard for effective catapults. Instead of using tension, torsion catapults relied on on detorsion from tightly strung coils of rope called rope bundles, having an arm stuck through their middles. Using winches, the arm of the catapult would be pulled down by a rope, having an additional piece of string called trigger, trigger rope. Once the trigger rope is pulled from a safe distance, the catapult fires, influenced by the torsion from the rope bundles and therefore resetting the cycle for another round. These catapults would mark the era where educated personnel knowledgeable about the various concepts of physics and mathematics would be needed to operate these types of machinery, as a typical soldier could not easily account for the angles of elevation of the catapult and the ammunition's weight, and etc, etc. Now finally, let's move on with the big <laughs> So uh, it turns out that uh, I can't use a full five minute video, so uh, future me will be presenting from now on, and, but the footage will still be in the background while he talks. So, so. Good luck. <laughs>